Hey, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening again, man. We want to welcome you back to the Conversation 9-8, man. And we're so happy to be back before you again and happy for another week and another episode. And, man, excited about it. Excited about it again. Like uh, every week, man, I, I get it. Get excited about it. But I'm back. happy to be back on here today. Uh, man, truly, it is a blessing. Uh, and I don't take that lightly. So I just wanted to... Uh, just say that and welcome you guys in, man. Uh, make sure you let me know uh, where you're tuning in from. And um, I hope all is well. I hope everything is going great. Um, and I hope everybody weak and things are going well. But despite all that, man, um, I I'm definitely looking forward to tonight's conversation. Uh, looking forward to uh, just talking about this because it's something that's been on my on my mind for a minute. Uh, and I want to shout out to my mom, shout out to my mom. Uh, she inspired me to, uh, so shout out to mama D on that one. Uh, I love my mom. Uh, she, we was just in conversations this week and I told her, I said, mom, you inspired me. You inspired me to talk about it. So I'm going to share this with a few more people. And again, make sure you share this, make sure you let me know where you're tuning in from and we're going to get right on to it and won't be before you long tonight but man i'm excited excited uh shout out to my class uh doing class day out uh very happy for them the originals uh class of 1998 uh back down in alabama uh doing their thing back in greensboro and uh it's, it's spread throughout the black belt so uh just wanted to just send a shout out to everybody back home enjoying their time but um just get on with this get, get on with the uh conversations for tonight uh because the night conversation is you know just because you don't want to hear the tr truth about you doesn't mean others shouldn't tell you and a lot of people it's hard for a lot of people to accept the truth about themselves even if they know it and some of the things is people feel like um you know they don't want to hear it they don't want to hear the truth they don't want to hear somebody tell them the truth about themselves but that's just because you don't want to hear it doesn't mean that others shouldn't tell you. Be the reason why I say that is I'm not saying that you should be the person to always go and tell somebody, but nobody should have to li live on eggs or walk on eggshells around you just because you don't want to hear the truth about yourself. You shouldn't put other people in uh, other people to be uncomfortable because you don't have or you're too afraid to address the reality of you. And it is on you to address the reality of you. Because just because you don't want to hear it, that don't mean other people shouldn't tell you. And they should tell you. They should tell you. And it's, I mean, it's not even the debatable. People should tell you. And one of the reasons why, and I will go ahead and say it, but many reasons why people should tell you the truth about you, even if you don't want to hear it, is because most of the people that are willing to tell you the truth are the ones that have to deal with the reality of who you are. They're the ones that have to deal with the reality of who you are. They're the ones that have to deal with the truth about yourself, even the truth that you know that you're dismissive of or that you don't even want to acknowledge. They are the ones that have to deal with it. So you should be open and honest. You should be you should be open to what they have to tell you. And just because you don't want to hear it and somebody telling you the truth about you, that don't mean that they're trying to hurt you. Just because it's, it upsets you doesn't mean people are trying to hurt you. And so many times people try to act as if they get defensive because they don't want to hear the truth instead of really listening to what somebody said. Because if somebody willing to tell you the truth about you, you should be willing to listen to them, especially if that person is somebody that has to deal with the reality of who you are all of the time or most of the time. And I know that's something that people don't like. That's something that people don't uh, really like to discuss or talk about. Um but that that's just a reality. I mean, it is a reality. Um, I, and and the sad truth is, you know, the sad truth is. There are a lot of people. Um, a lot of people refuse. Uh, they interpret somebody telling them the truth as if they're trying to attack them. And those same people who they interpret as trying to attack them are really coming at them out of care and concern. They really care about them, but they may have their patients may have ran out with having to deal with them. They having to deal with you, you know, because a lot of people they don't want to talk about it. But man, some people people didn't have to deal with you for years. 
people have been been uh, sensitive to you or your feelings about all these things, but you're still making dumb and bad decisions that's impacting them and their lives. You don't care about how it's impacting them. You just are too sensitive and don't want to hear what they're trying to tell you the truth about you. But the funny thing is, you already know that it's true about you. You just don't want to accept or to face it. But you got to get over yourself so that you can grow up and face it. You have to. Hey, what's up, Flo? Flo said a lot of times it's the, that hurtful truth gets told out of love and concern. Yes, and, and the reason why is, and I, a lot of people like to debate this, but this is the truth. It's so easy to interpret um, somebody telling you the truth about you as them trying to attack you when you don't want to address or deal with the reality of what they're telling you. Because many times the reason why we automatically get defensive is we don't want to deal with it. You know you you know you dead wrong in what you're doing. Most of the time, the reason why people get offended, you just don't want to hear it. It's not that you just don't know it. Somebody can tell you, and it can be some sensitive to your heart. And also, too, I said it before, wounded ears, a wounded heart hears differently. So if your heart wounded, that's why it's so important for us to heal and go through the process of healing, because sometimes people can come to us in truth and love and in genuine concern. But we interpret it as them trying to attack us all because we don't want to face the reality of who we are. And then we attack the very same people that have always been there for us. Because they want to hold you accountable to you because they want to see you grow. They want to see you grow. They do. But the reality is a lot of times we fight against that. What we do is we fight against it because I don't feel like, man, that's good. <laughs> the reason why many people fight against people telling them the truth about themselves is simply because they don't want to be accountable. They avoid accountability because accountability is a difference between uh, acknowledgement and taking ownership. And the reason why accountability calls you to take ownership and they don't I don't want to take ownership of it. I want to have an idea to acknowledge what what's going on with me. But I don't want nobody to tell me that because I'm not ready to change who I am or I'm not ready to face myself. I'm not ready to do the things that I need to do so that I can overcome me and deal with the reality of me. I want to sit in my own pity party and I want other people to compromise to make it easier for me because that make me feel comfortable. And I'm more concerned with my comfort than I am with dealing, the real, dealing with the reality of me so that I can overcome, that I can grow, I can go to the next level. That's what happens. I'm being dead honest. You know, one of the things, one of the things just, just in conversation with my mom, we were just talking about, you know, talking about this and just, it was in another conversation, but it, it inspired this one. Uh, but I, I wanna say this, you know, you, when you find somebody who is completely unwilling to hear the truth about themselves, they will always be in the position to where they play the role of a victim. Despite what decisions they make that put them in the position that they're in, despite the help that people have offered them, despite, and, and the funny thing is, most of these people have, have already received more help than anybody else around them but they still will play the role of the victim all because they're not ready to deal with themselves, the reality of who they are. And sometimes what happens is wounded people end up identifying by what wounded them and they want to use that as a crutch and they begin to identify by that because they want sympathy and they want somebody to feel sorry for them, but they don't want to do the work to, to, to do what they need to do to overcome it. So they'll use that as much as they can. And them same people will bleed you dry. They will bleed you dry. Hey, what's up? Aunt? How you doing? Cuz what's going on? Uh, nobody ever wants the truth. I will say this. I'm glad you said that. I will say this. Um, and that's, that's, a, that's a good statement, but I want to go with it from a different angle. There's a lot of people who don't want the truth because the people say the truth hurt, but I disagree. The truth does not hurt. The Bible even said the truth will set you free. The, the problem is the truth doesn't hurt, but what hurts is somebody accepting the reality that they've been believing a lie or they've been, been believing something that was false. That is what hurt. So people tend to try to avoid the truth, but they can't run away from it because they know deep down inside the what it is with them. You ain't really got to tell somebody they wrong. They know they wrong. 
what they've done is more more than likely they've they've made themselves they've convinced themselves they they've justified their behaviors and a lot of people go around with justified behaviors trying to act as if they're good to go but that justification is has been validated through their own means it ain't been validated through no logical means. It didn't validate it through no uh, some stable emotional uh, way. It's been validated to perpetuate what they want. So it always will seem right to them. It will always seem right to them. But that doesn't mean it, 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 it destroys and it impacts all these people around them. You know, you got, man, I'm telling you, you got some people um, and, and many people. One thing about it is this. Um, and I know this this right here gonna hit home for a lot of people, but some of our kids need to hear the truth that you or some of the kids need to hear the truth that they need to do what they need to do to take care of themselves. Some of us parents need to hear the truth that you're not helping your child, you're enabling them, and you are the reason why they are who they are right now. And I know they're gonna hurt some people, but we got way too many people who continue to feel like they're helping somebody, but they don't want to tell the, tell the people the truth about themselves. But but in their mind, they do all of these things for them, but they create these environment where they be, enable certain behaviors. And by enabling enabling those behaviors, we're creating monsters. We're creating people that other people got to deal with. And this is the thing: people don't realize how you interact how you raise how you in uh, uh deal with people other if you don't do right by that somebody else in the world got to deal with that dysfunction from the very person that you are responsible for raising i mean you better we got parents y'all listen if you struggling and and you feel like your kids grown and you always feel like you got to be there for them man you got to i'm telling you stop enabling that behavior because the only thing they're gonna do is they're going to come back to you because they know they can use you to get what they want. And they don't even appreciate it. Anthony said, they don't know, they don't want their truth to come out because it, it tears th their walls down. Yes. Yes. And that wall, man, that wall, we as parents blocks God's blessings, lessons and blessings. Yes. And this is the thing. We got to be careful. And I'm glad you brought that up, mom. I'm glad you brought that up. We got to be careful as parents when we don't want to tell the truth or accept the truth about ourselves, when we are the ones that end up blocking what God is trying to teach our kids or to teach our loved ones. We always feel like we got to be the ones that come to their rescue. And God is saying, I'm trying to teach them a lesson from the consequences of their choices. But if we continue to, to feel like we are going to uh, intervene, God will set it up to where you are the one that will have to deal with the consequences. And you will see your child, that very same child that you always to the rescue for, that very same child will sit right there and let you go straight through all of those consequences and wouldn't bat an eye, would could care less. And now you're sitting there and you're like, man, and you're feeling some type of way. But God has said, I need you to get out of the way so I can be God and I can tell, show them the truth about themselves so they can grow up. And you can see the truth about yourself so you can grow up and get out of my way and start dealing with yourself. And start dealing with yourself. You said, mama said, we have to go through sometimes to, to, to get some things. Yes. And not only that. Uh, you also block your own blessing. That is true. But not only we have to go through sometimes, man, look, and I, I know this is a little different from the topic, but um, we all have to go through things. In life, we will all have to go through things. And uh, and life is about processes. And life is about experiences. And there are some things that are only learned by you going through it. There are some things that I can I can write things down. I can show people. I can I can advise. I can inform. And what I've adopted as a parent, right, as my kids gotten older, especially they're young adults now, I've adopted my parental style. I'm not sitting there to try to tell you you will do this. No, you're gonna choose to do whatever. But I want you to understand that with that choice, there's consequences, either good or bad. But when those consequences come. I can love you. I can be there for you, but I ain't stepping in to try to make you not deal with them consequences because it's different. It's, it, you will definitely learn how to save money when you hungry and when you went broke and you had to go through a time to figure it out. That's a lesson only can be learned by going through it. That's a lesson that can only be learned by going through it as many as other lessons that can only be learned by going through it. I'm telling you, listen, life has a way 
way of showing you some stuff. Life will show you there's some lessons that's learned through, hey, you know, when you when you got no money, you got to figure it out. Boy, you learn some stuff about yourself. You learn how to be resilient. Hey, you start to start to make different decisions. You start to realize like, hey, I ain't finna eat out. I'm spending all this money eating out and I'm struggling right here. So guess what I'm about to do? I'm about to make me some spaghetti because I know spaghetti that lasts me about two, three days. I can take that to lunch. I'm going to cook this. And I'm like, you start to learn different lessons that if you've never had to go through it, you wouldn't know. And you, somebody can tell you, to, man, this is the thing. This is the thing. This is a good one. Somebody can tell you everything you need to know. And they can lay the blueprint out for you. But it will not make sense. Some things will not make sense to you until you go through it yourself. And I promise you, you can sit there. I've done it even with my kids. I share some things with them. And, you know, I can remember my dad trying to share some things with me. And I'm like, OK, bro, I hear you. But then I remember when I got older, I had an epiphany and I'm calling him, thanking him because I realized he was pouring into me. What, what also too the same thing with our kids. Some things, man, I had to just let them think I had to, man. It, and it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. But sometimes even in those lessons, sometimes that's God showing us the truth about ourselves that we need to deal. We need to deal with us and stop feeling like this. Stop. Sometimes we are overbearing as parents. And always trying to make things easy. And God was like, your life wasn't easy. So why are you trying to make it easy for them? Because they are not getting the lessons that I need them to get. They're not getting those lessons. Miss Joyce Jones, how you doing? Good evening to you. Thanks for tuning in. But they're not getting those lessons. And they need them. And people need those lessons because those lessons are invaluable. When I say they are invaluable, they are invaluable. Now, sometimes what, sometimes what we got to look at when I say, uh, people not wanting uh, to hear the truth, but uh, hearing the truth about yourself is not always going to be something easy or fun to accept because we lie to ourselves the most and we convince ourselves that we are okay in areas, even though we know we may not be. So hearing the truth about self, it's not going to be easy. And a lot of times it's not an easy pill to swallow. And it's so easy to get defensive because we're feeling like we're attacked. But we got to look at it and mature to the point to where I would rather hear the truth about me than you not telling me and then you giving me some fluff on the back end. The same thing. Can't um, um, Kim Sky wrote a book, uh, um, uh, Candor, uh, what it is, uh, it's about candor. Um, and the good thing about that book is talking about you being candid and telling people the truth. You don't have to be. Uh, anal about it. You don't have to be nasty about it, disrespectful, but it's so important to tell people the truth. And just because you don't want to hear it, that doesn't mean that they don't need to tell you. Telling you, that's what that is. Seriously. Because the, the many things that we see today, many things that we have to deal with today is a result of people not being told the truth. And those same people who wasn't told the truth, they created this reality and they formed this reality that they are OK in areas where they're not. And and many people closest to them have chosen to not tell them the truth for the sake of, quote unquote, peace. But they will compromise their own peace, their own peace to make it comfortable for somebody else who really need to hear the truth about who they are. Now, the thing is, now you you don't have to always be that person to tell somebody but if in certain situations and circumstances you may be need to be the one to say hey this is the truth about you right now and you can do it in love you ain't got to sit there and try to say it nasty but you can tell them and then it's up to them for whatever they do whatever they do with it it is up to them you know my mama said something i remember uh when i was younger my mama said uh and I like this and I keep it with me. My mom told me when I was younger, she said, Robert, you're only responsible for telling, for offering. You're not responsible for somebody accepting. And many times when we start talking about telling other people the truth, we're only responsible for offering it. Now, let's be realistic about it. We can't be in the wrong in ourselves and then try to tell somebody the truth and tell them that they need to accept the truth about who they are, but then not be receptive when somebody else tell us the truth about us. 
and you, that's just I mean that's just being fair because many times we try to present it oh I'm telling you the truth about it but then we have to examine our motives behind why we're trying to tell somebody the truth because many times people try to they are trying to hurt the person but try to wrap it in truth and then no they ain't gonna go over well but if you genuinely concerned about somebody you would know the difference you would know the difference when you speak in truth because it will come from a good and genuine place it will come from a good and genuine place and like my mom said it goes both ways yes it goes both ways it does and you can't you can try to talk about it you can try to but it goes both ways and one last one of the last things i do want to say it when um when we're trying to go to somebody in truth you can't speak truth to somebody being disrespectful you can't so don't even try to go go to somebody trying to be disrespectful and wrap truth up in disrespect because it would not be received because now that's very true even though what you may be telling them is 100 truth and what they need to hear it will be contaminated with the disrespect and you cannot expect that person not to react to the disrespect and don't try to be that and try to hide behind that and then try to say well they weren't receptive they weren't receptive to, uh they weren't receptive to the truth no they were receptive to the truth they just weren't receptive to the disrespect and i don't blame them at all but if you're gonna go to somebody in truth tell them go to them in love i didn't say you had to go to them softly i didn't have said they have to you had to sugarcoat it i say go to them in love go to them with a genuine care and concern and guess what they have to sit on the chew on it you ain't responsible for them accepting it that's on them uh and man man tonight dang i can't even believe that it isn't the, the time that went by already by talking about this but i really appreciate everybody tuning in i really hope that this was helpful um uh and man i'm truly excited about what god got coming up uh for for me and then just dealing with the reality of me you know dealing with the reality of me i will tell you uh being self-aware will help you accept the truth from others because we know where we are we know where we we short where our shortfalls at just stop trying to justify it and deal with the truth and not only deal with the truth but let the truth deal with you so man i hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful evening uh i really appreciate you guys rocking with your boy hey go check out my social media platforms youtube at the, at the conversation 98 the conversation 98 on uh instagram at 98 conversation on x twitter whatever that is uh and then on here the conversation 98 on facebook and then on tiktok at the conversation underscore 98 you guys have a blessed and wonderful evening god bless talk to you later